Hey guys, Steve here from NextGen AI and big announcement yesterday by OpenAI. We now have ChatGPT tasks which allow you to ask ChatGPT to do things for you at a later date. This is moving OpenAI towards one step further towards AI agents, autonomous AI agents with this tax feature, okay? So you may be wondering, well, what kind of stuff can tasks do? So OpenAI, I've got this kind of, um, this documentation here showing you exactly how to use it. And they've also given you um, some some examples of what to do. So in today's video, I'm going to show you um, some real world use cases of which I'm going to find useful and start using. And then hopefully you can come up with your own ideas on how you're going to use it too. Okay. So we can see here it can ask, um, can you give me a briefing on AI news each afternoon? That's really really helpful for me because you know obviously I run an AI YouTube channel. I need that kind of information. Uh, practice French with me daily. Remind me about my mum's birthday. Oops. Okay. And it shows you exactly how to set these things up. So if you go inside ChatGPT and you go to the drop down menu, you'll see this new uh, function here, chat, uh, GPT 4.0 with scheduled tasks. Okay, can you ask, you can ask ChatGPT to follow up later. And also I noticed as well, the search the web is on. So ChatGPT search is on. And obviously you can ask it then to go and search the web, bring you back information at a later date, okay? Like a personal assistant. So I'm gonna go to uh, my prompts here. So I really like the AI news daily because that's really, really helpful for me. So I'm gonna paste into ChatGPT create a task that summarizes the latest AI news every day at 9 a.m., my my side of the world. Break the news into easy to understand bite-sized pieces, okay? So let's whack that into ChatGPT and let's see what tasks comes up with. And we can see now it's creating tasks and it's just give me a simple uh, reply, got it, I'll summarize the latest AI news at 9 a.m. every single day and I'm gonna click um, turn on desktop notifications here just so I get that um, notification. But if we click on the three dots here, and we can actually edit this as well to give it more instructions or change the schedule from daily, change the time, etc. Okay, so I've got that set up now, and if I click allow, it'll give me the desktop uh, notifications too. Another really awesome um, way I kind of thought about using tasks is to create brand mentions. So you know, if you if you're a company owner or you're working with a company and you want to find out who out there or what's being said about your brand name. You can set up a task that performs daily searches for mentions of, I'm gonna say my brand next gen AI, and update me every single day on those mentions. So I haven't even created a new task, I might have to do that. Okay, and we've got this one here now. If I go to view all tasks, I can see we've got my tasks here. So 9 a.m. is gonna be very busy for me. Maybe I'll change the brand mentions to um, to later on in the afternoon. But it's gonna be really cool to see exactly what these comes up with. And I like the fact that with tasks, um, it's connected to the web to search GPT. So it'll actually go ahead and you'll find that real-time information for me rather than you know not being connected to the internet like the standard chat GPT. Chat is. But I really like um, this kind of brand mention thing. So what I thought would could be a cool automation in the future, um, if we could connect, connect it to, because right now I don't think the tasks is available in, in the API. Um, I'll have to check that. Right now it's limited, it's in beta, there's no voice chats, no file up nodes, no GPTs, okay, so no, no API. So what I thought would be a really cool idea is if we could actually connect um, ChatGPT tasks up with the API into some sort of automation, okay? That will then bring our, so we're asking tasks, awful handwriting by the way, to update me, um, and then goes to the API. And then what I thought would be a really cool idea is if it gives me the updates for the brand mentions in a specific Slack channel. So we set up a Slack channel called uh, Brand Mentions, and every day, ChatGPT tasks updates that Slack channel with all the different brand mentions we have on our brand name. That way we can see where we're being spoken about. Um, I can see if there's anyone I want to reach out to, to maybe you know add some backlinks into, organize an interview, organize a podcast, uh, even just to, could be potential leads, right, talking about you. So I think this is a really, really awesome uh, use case of how to use tasks to do that. And what I might do, as soon as a task is available with the API, I might actually set something like this up. And that would be really, really awesome, um, wouldn't it? Maybe there's a way you can do that with um, with make.com anyway, um, if you set up at different intervals. Or the, but again, 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 ChatGPT wouldn't be connected to the internet then. I'm not sure if Search GPT is actually available via API. I'll have to double check that. But this is really interesting. So I actually, you can see my Slack is open here now. So I'd really like to kind of get that going because it'll, um, I think there's softwares out there that you pay hundreds of dollars a month for to get brand mentions and that stuff like that. So this completely wipes that out. Um, so I'm really looking forward to being able to do this. 
obviously one step closer to those AI agents that OpenAI have been teasing, uh, but they're not like, delivering. I'm really expecting those now uh, very soon. So um, yeah, hopefully you can come up with some use cases for GPT tasks. Let me know in the description below what you think it would be useful for. If you come up with any really good ideas, um, if there's anything really, really spectacular on there, I'll do a video on it as well and or tr try to find some sort of way to work that out. As always, if you want the latest um, AI news, do sign up to the newsletter below uh, Next Gen AI. I send out one issue a week on Fridays. You'll also get all the prompts and um, all the tips and tricks I do in every single video, including uh, the things like that you've seen today. So do sign up for that. And just before you go, in terms of AI tools, I use this really, really awesome AI writer. So if you're into blogging at all, if you're into SEO at all, I use an AI SEO platform every single day called Journalist AI, okay? It's an amazing AI SEO writer that auto publishes to your blog. I've got pretty much the only discount out there right now. So if you're into, if you want an auto writer, if you want to start blogging, if you want to help with your business or to drive more organic traffic to your business via SEO, then Journalist AI is a platform that does that in abundance, okay? And you can see I generated this article uh, got in is Tesla the per uh, perfect first car completely on autopilot okay it does the introduction um, it does you know all this kind of format in it does external links it does images external links here um, it adds YouTube videos it's a really really awesome conclusion and frequently asked questions and it produced this really awesome article um, just completely hands-free on autopilot okay it even takes uh, your competitors keywords and produces content on them in an automated way okay so journalist ai if you want to get three free articles straight off the bat with no um commitment no credit card required no payment information go to my link below and then whack in your email address here and you'll get those three articles and if you decide to upgrade in the future you'll also get a discount then so i just wanted to leave you with that before um, i leave you today and uh, good luck and i'll see you on the next video thank you very much